Só um ano, um ano, um ano, um ano de ex Já posso sentir na pele amores e é Deixar sua assinatura de sol Na cara como uma pintura de cal Abrindo a janela o frio A memória esqueceu no momento em que o peito apertado Escreveu no vidro gelado a vapor Uma frase perdida de amor That was about a five minute walk from the bus station <laughs> Uh, it may take me two hours just to get to my hotel if I have to stop and look at everything on the way there. Yeah, this is an amazing place. All right, well, that's why I missed it. I couldn't quite make out the sign. Uh, just his up song. Okay, uh, made it through Hesap Sal and Joao showed me to my room, which is exactly all I need. And oh, oh, oh look at this! Must be a room with a view. Uh, is that where I got lost? Yep, that's where I came out from. Uh, number six. Uh, oh, there's a church. Um, can't really tell elevation. We're at 3,500 feet right now. Of course, I'll find out soon enough walking up and down these cobblestone streets, but. This will get me started. I need to change some shorts and find some water. And uh, we'll start some adventures today. Up to so, uh, Oro Preto used to be the capital minister, right, until they moved it to Belo Horizonte. Um, and so, even though it's just a huge tourist attraction now, it has tremendous cultural impact not just for the state but for the country people still live here this is their home some chose to move to Belo Horizonte and move the cap others wound up staying but uh, there's still many people that live here go to school work shop there's a hospital here of course lots of tourist services restaurants things like that most folks are well-intentioned some are not and there are people here that will prey on people who are out of town and don't know any better I was already approached by someone asking me where I was staying it's generally not the first question to ask. It's usually like, where are you from? What are you? Not where you're staying. So, but anyway, you want to get out of the way just when you get dumped off the bus, try and figure out where people are hanging out and just kind of try and hang with them. Sometimes the best hiding is in plain sight, like what I'm doing now. This monument right here, there's a bunch of people just kind of hanging out. I'm in the middle of the square right now, middle of Chirdente Square, mind you, and um, I'm just I don't want to stand out like a fly on a wall. And this is a pretty good spot to kind of get a feel for things and where the restaurants are, where you need to go next. So after the seat of government moved to Belo Horizonte, um, there was a lot of empty government buildings sitting around. And what happened apparently was colleges and universities decided to move in and make a bunch of uh, frat houses here. So there's also a huge uh, university college population whom just kind of took over the, the what were formerly government buildings uh, when the city was the capital of the state. Our Preto, Minister Rice. This is, I think, a <laughs> uh, giant, giant uh, market over here. This is, uh, Our Preto is one of those places where you just got to take whatever plans you made and just crumple them up and throw them out the window because you don't have to have ADD to get distracted by everything that you walk by. I mean, every block, every street, um, every hill you go over or under, you see something different. It's just not possible. Just just let it happen. Just let the city come to you. Um, don't try and download maps and follow the map or whatever. Just, just go out and, and do it and enjoy it because um, that's how you're going to enjoy it. All these remarkable discoveries on your own versus looking down at a map or looking down at your phone. I've seen enough people just looking down at their phone the whole time, missing whatever reason they're here for. So just just show up and just start walking. You're not going to be disappointed. Okay, looks good. Uh, unless you're a skateboarder. Um, I haven't seen many skateboarders around. For good reason. Most of the moto taxis I've seen actually shut their engines off going downhill um, just to conserve a little bit of gas really get, can get going, but uh, you got to watch yourself. I've seen way many more people wearing flip-flops and limping badly. What a bad idea.
Uh, there's there's a couple people I passed that uh, were wearing flip flops. You just need to just check out now if that's the case. Just go home. Not a good idea. I think it's this way. Alright, so this uh, this isn't a bad view either. Um, I think tomorrow's plan, aside from some other things, is hitting that hilltop with you can't see, it's got a cool little crucifix on it. And there's probably some more, some more good views, go figure up there. Um, and then train to Mariana, which uh, Joao is going to check for me down in his hip cell. Um, and if not, I mean, I can explore all kinds of nooks and crannies around here. Definitely has got a Sao Luis, Salvador vibe to it as well. Vendor sharks are smelling blood in the water, that is for sure. Uh, the church bell started uh, about dark 30 or so. Yeah, I can't say I mind it. Uh, I guess my next quest would be to find like what what's a really good night night vista shot. I really hadn't considered that until the lights started coming on. But I got to find some food. That's our next mission. Not to. All right, so this place is just a hub of activity and absolutely nuts. 24/7. It was when I got here this afternoon anyway. Um, Students, taxi drivers, the right. Students like to hang out on the Tudentius monument there and smoke cigarettes and act real elitist and that, which is kind of funny. I guess it's just students being students. Um, but anyway, this place is pretty crazy. I'm going to go find something else to eat and we'll check back in a bit. <laughs>